Meghan Markle and Prince Harry welcomed the baby boy into the world on Monday, but there was some confusion over the announcement as Buckingham Palace announced Meghan was in labor hours after she had already given birth. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are new parents, with their first child born on Monday, May 6 at 5.26 a.m. A baby boy, the Sussex's first child weighed 7 pounds and 3 ounces and was reportedly born at a private London hospital. More details are yet to come, including baby Sussex's name and first photo. On the day Meghan gave birth shortly before 1 p.m. an announcement came from Buckingham Palace that the Duchess was in labor. The news spread on Twitter, with a screenshot of official communication from Buckingham Palace. The operational update dated Monday, May 6, 2019, read, The Duchess went into labor in the early hours of this morning. The Duke of Sussex was by Her Royal Highness's side. An announcement will be made soon. Less than an hour later the Duke and Duchess's official Instagram page posted an image revealing Meghan had given birth at 5.26 a.m. that morning. The statement from the Sussex Royal page read, We are pleased to announce that their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their first-born child in the early morning on May 6, 2019. Their Royal Highness's son weighs 7 pounds 3 ounces. The Duchess and Baby are both healthy and well, and the couple thank members of the public for their support during this very special time in their lives. More details will be shared in the forthcoming days. Meghan and Harry have long wanted to keep the details of the birth of their first barn private, so this may be the reason for the labor announcement despite their son already being born. The couple had several hours together with their son before announcing the birth to the world which is how I had wanted the process to be. This is a stark contrast from Kate Middleton and Prince William, who announced Kate's labor and then the birth of each of their children as it happened. Kate also posed for photos outside of the hospital with each of her children, whilst it is unlikely Meghan will do so. But no reason for the labor confusion has been given by the royal family and the handling of the PR surrounding the birth has caused anger among some journalists. Daily Express royal reporter Richard Palmer said, The palace's handling of that announcement was an absolute shambles. It would help if the press office spent more time worrying about keeping journalists informed and less time on Instagram and overseas organizations. Where was the royal baby born? The Daily Mail has reported Meghan had her son at the private hospital on Great Portland Street in London. The Portland Hospital has also seen its share of an aristocratic births and is popular among the rich and famous. The Duchess of York gave birth to both Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie at the hospital, while both of the Earl of Snowden's children, Charles and Margarita Armstrong Jones, were born at the Portland. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.